Good evening. A 29-year-old pedophile is behind bars tonight, charged over a police emergency that shut down parts of the city. Today, a taxi driver told Nine News how he unwittingly helped a man carry a pipe bomb and guns into RPH. He's charged with carrying two sawn-off shotguns and a pipe bomb into Royal Perth Hospital. And today we got a clearer picture of Aaron Lee Prima. He was talking to someone on the phone, I don't know, and he was crying a little bit. So He was crying? Yeah. What was he? he was yelling, yelling on the phone. Taxi driver Sandip Gill picked up the 29-year-old Avery man and drove him to RPH yesterday morning. He even helped carry two large bags and a backpack that allegedly contained the guns and explosive. It was uh, normally like the people who are in uh, drugs, you know, how they treat, they was moving around and here and there was no sitting like normal, you know. The top three floors of the hospital were locked down just before 10am yesterday when nurses opened a bag and discovered a pipe bomb. But a preliminary assessment has been found that it be a crude, crudely made improvised explosive device that was unable to be functioned. Today a district court judge sentenced Prima to 18 months behind bars for online child exploitation. Then he moved to the magistrate's court on new aggravated guns and weapons charges. The 29-year-old sobbed, rocking from side to side as he was sentenced for past child sex offences. Judge Gillian Braddock described Mr Prima as a long-standing methamphetamine addict and far from being rehabilitated. Police say they're pleased with the emergency response and at no time patients were in danger. But they still don't know what the weapons and bomb were going to be used for. We've had these sorts of things happen before and uh, look, it could happen anywhere in the world and Perth is no different to any other capital city. Mia Brankov, Nine News.